Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, a massive fish room tour of my fish room. Grab an extra large, healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, let's get the tour underway. Oh, snap! The fish room's still a mess from the wholesale order I put away. Stand by. All right, let's get this party started. So, fish room tour wouldn't be complete without a quick look at the workbench. We got the brine shrimp going. I got a package yesterday from Ocean Nutrition. I've used Ocean Nutrition before. Uh, I don't talk about it a whole lot, but I do like it a lot. I really like the brine shrimp plus flake. I love their discus flake, which uh, they didn't have any for me. And uh, someone mentioned this prime reef flake to me that I should try. So I'm going to try 60% crude protein. Um, you know, I'm a fan of their foods in general. Uh, one of the things I really love... Oh, community formula. One of the things I really love, let me come over to my uh, food section over here, is this uh, freeze-dried Cyclops. I'll put a link down below for Amazon. It will be an affiliate link. I will make gajillions if you even think about clicking on it. You know, you know the deal. Um, but uh, I know some of the guys from Ocean Nutrition, and, and uh, you know, they send me some care packages every now and again. So I'll be going through some of this stuff and trying it. Mice or shrimp. Yeah, we'll try it. Uh, we got the Excalibur for my new flower horn naming video coming soon. I've decided on a name. We'll see. Oh, so Snavies and more. This was sent to me by Amy Moore. She is a uh, entrepreneur who makes snail food, but it, apparently the food is also quite good for plecos. So we're gonna we're gonna check that out. Let me let me open this. Wasn't planning on this. Snack pack sample. This is kind of nice. Ooh, shallows, calcium supplement, snail mix, veggies, proteins, calcium fortified, veggie s'mores, more, s'more, because her name is Amy Moore, see what she did there? Vitamin packed veggies, and fit sticks, high in protein. All right, well, let me open this and drop one into a pleco tank. I know this is exciting me opening this, but you know, like I said, I, I had this out on the workbench and I decided, what the heck, let's try it. I right, use my cheat. Stapled shut. Now let's, let's see. All right. A little warm in the fish room. It's probably about, I think my thermometer ran out of batteries. Yeah, look. Piece of crap. Um, it's not really a piece of crap. I just ran out of batteries. Fit sticks. Remove pieces not consumed in six to 12 hours. Use two to three times weekly. What did she say? Where's the, here it is. What is the fit stick? That's the protein one. High in protein. Eh, maybe not the best right now for the, the plecos. Snail mix, what's the snail mix? Veggies, protein, calcium fortified. All right, let's drop some in. All right, so I'll take two of these things. We're going to drop one into the albino bristle nose pleco tank right there. Then we'll uh, drop one into this calico, short fin calico tank. It's not sinking. Not sinking. Maybe it's got to get wet. Did the other one sink? Yeah, the other one sank. Look, it's right there. Oh, there. see that? Sinking. Sinking. All right, we'll come back to this later. See how they're doing. Uh, back to the workbench. So the Excalibur, the snails, snuff, snabies, and more. Got the food. What else? New poly filter. Got that from my, the big one I got from my boy Keith at KJE. I didn't know if I, he was going to have it, and I need made it. I needed to make sure I had enough, so I did get some on Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, let's take a walk around first. I'm going to grab my creeper seat, and let's take a look at my favorite tank in the fish room. The massive 90 gallon mutt guppy tank that has a poop ton of uh, plecos in it as well. You can see down below. Uh, my buddy, uh, Joel, uh, had to get rid of his tank in a hurry and he gave me a bunch of plecos and, and guppies and uh, some other fish that he had, which we'll talk about in a minute. 
But uh, I dropped some plecos and some guppies in here because I had to. And uh, we quarantined. We had some issues with this tank last week, but uh, everything is healthy now. And uh, everything's looking good, so I'm pretty happy. There are quite a few guppy fry in here. Uh, I did have quite the fire sale on, uh, on Mutts this week. I think people were taking advantage of the MFR 2020 uh, coupon code, promo code for my website, michaelsfishroom.com, which gives you 10% off the entire purchase. People want good quality guppies and they're not looking to, to breed them, so they buy the mutts. And that's exactly what they're here for, folks. If you're not looking to, uh, you know, to breed, line breed guppies, and you just want some good, healthy guppies, this is what you get. Quite the variety. They're quite healthy. And, uh, yeah. So, the filter's running a little slow. Uh, and that's because I cleaned that side. I didn't clean this side, so I'm sure that's, that's the reason why that side is kind of slow so but this aquarium co-op uh sponge filter pre-filter works wonders which everyone said to use and i i did it so there we go all right let's take a look up here guys ah we can look at the food almost out of japanese food i do have uh some coming from a japanese uh co-worker who's coming from japan after he quarantines for two weeks really nothing special there's a dr basilier's food let me just this is the baby nano food, and uh, my biggest gripe with Dr. Basler was the container. And uh, my boy Keith from KJ fixed it. He made a deli cup. It's perfect. I love it. I feed it probably twice. I would say every other day I feed it. Maybe even every third feeding. For the, the fry, I, I switch between the Cyclops the smart no that's not smartemia that's not smart there's a smartemia right here the cobalt smartemia which i love and then that that nano uh dr basilier's nano fry food sometimes i skip feeding a uh, fry and i just when i feed uh you know like if i feed this some high quality flake like this extreme community crave i just crush it real fine on my fingers which is fine so uh here are some some red dragons looks like there was some fry born there's there's like a a juvenile now this really isn't a breeding tank so i'm quite surprised even one survived because they are tender and delicious here are some santa claus guppies i did sell uh i did have a few for sale at that um swap me in and i did sell a pair um but we have a couple left they're really not on the website yet they'll probably be on the website officially in the in the uh spring because i don't want to put them on the website and only have two or three pairs available Typically, that causes some issues. So, got the green lace guppies. There are some babies in here. Uh, this is one of the strains we're going to be working on over the winter to build up stock. Uh, here we have some red dragon breeders um, and also uh, lemon blue eye breeders. I don't know if you can see any. There's one in this awesome cave. Uh, these are the caves that I <laughs> I said at to a, a customer at uh, the swap meet. So I was. In case you didn't see that video, I'll put a link somewhere here for you guys to take a look at. But I said to a customer who was looking at um, Keith's booth. Now, I was right next. We were actually kind of together. That's how I wanted it so I could hang out with my boy Keith. And uh, a customer asked me, he said, Mike, are these caves are a little expensive, but are they, are they really that good? I'm like, these caves are so good, there's no need to play Barry White. And he bought a cave. But you can see the, the there's a male pleco in there. Hopefully he's on eggs. I don't like to bother them in there. Uh, I think there's three or four adults in here. There might be five adults in here trying to get some babies out of these guys. Let's go up here. We got the long fin, uh, super red dragon pleco. Super red dragon plecos. Long fin super red plecos. Not dragon. I just like saying dragon. Got some, diff some different ages in here. Um, you know, soon we're going to be shutting off shipping at least for a couple weeks until after Christmas. So, if you want to, if you want any of my fish, you got to order them this week because come next week, that's it. We're done because of Thanksgiving. The uh, post office gets jacked up when it comes to Black Friday. So, uh, yeah, we got that happening. So, uh, the plan for these guys is to you can see there's a male right there, a juvenile or, or sub adult male. Hopefully there's a female of breeding age. We get some fry over the winter. Uh, we have some long fin albinos in here. These are just breeders. Hopefully we'll get some, some fry in here as well. There are some guppies. I, I, I think they were galaxy guppies or 
something like that. Uh, as soon as they're big enough for me to catch, I will put them in the Mutt Guppy tank and use the Guppy space for something else if I need it. Half Black Red Rose, quite a hit, quite a big seller with you guys. Uh, they seem to be a very popular Guppy right now. And then here we have the, I can't remember, something Tiger that I got from a local breeder. These will be up on the website. I, I hoped to have them on the website by the time this video is uh, released, but to be honest, I probably won't. Uh, Half Moon Tigers, I think they're called. Down here we have some Dark Dragon breeders. Uh, hopefully those will be up on the website in the spring. Uh, really not enough going on to sell. Nothing going on in this tank, just uh, cleaning out some of the mom. Uh, we had some lemon blue eyes in here that I moved to that other tank and there were some other guppies that seemed to break down and uh, weren't really breeding true so they went into the mutt guppy tank as well. Tuxedo koi guppies, oh they are adorable. Look at them with their cute little orange faces. Adorable. On the website now. Got the heater going. It's probably about 80 degrees in here and we might have talked about that. Uh, got a host order yesterday, as I said when I walked in. These are some full blacks or black Moscows. Uh, these are doing quite well. Haven't lost any so far, knock on wood. They've been here about 24 hours, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, I'll go over the rest of the order. It was a kind of a small order, and uh, it's a funny story. I'll tell you when I get to some more fish, but let's move down here. Here we have the big-eared leopard grow-outs. Uh, I sold all the adults because I'm an idiot. I didn't realize it. And uh, then we have the super red mutt plecos. They're just uh, calico plecos with super red. I like the name super red mutts. They'll be on the, the website hopefully in the spring as well. Real red eye albinos. These guys are huge and doing quite well. I know uh, a couple of the pairs I've sold have dropped hundreds of fry because the females are ginormous. Again, this isn't a breeding tank. This is just a holding tank. Uh, as I get more tank space, I will separate a couple females and, and hopefully get some fry going there. We got the blue Moscow, similar to the black Moscow's, only blue. Uh, these guys, they're still in quarantine because they're really not doing great. Uh, they, they're dropping a little fast. Uh, so I want to make sure I sell healthy fish. All right, moving, moving down, down low. This is like a, a hospital tank. A catch hole, if you will. These came from my buddy Joel, and they were a little sick when I got them. Uh, still not 100% sure they're healthy, so they're they're hanging out in here. There's some uh, some quarries. There was a a pleco in here. I think there's still a pleco in the back, maybe. And then mostly guppies. Here we have the uh, albino tuxedo koi guppies in here. Maybe it's better to show them from the top. I sold uh, a pair or two at the show. Uh, really not enough to put on the website yet though, but hopefully these will breed quite deliciously and they'll be available in the spring. Here's a breeding for profit bluegrass redgrass tank. Um, I've already had some fry, so that's nice. And uh, we'll be updating that video probably in about two weeks. If you missed that video, I'll put a link here as well for you. All right, I'm gonna go from the top. Uh, these are some more uh, red dragons I got in the wholesale order. Uh, doing well. Uh, we didn't lose any of these. It's just 15 pair, uh, sort of as a bonus I got. So, uh, here's what I wanted to talk about. We have some algae eaters and some ginormous mollies. There's a blue molly and a white molly. If you're interested in any of these fish, shoot me a message with a, uh, an offer and, uh, they'll be yours because I don't want them. Uh, we got the, uh, metal black lace grow outs. Uh, these will be available in the spring. Still uh, growing the colony out. Sold a couple pairs here and there, but nothing official. So, yeah, more grow outs. Uh, black Moscow, quick story. So I have all the Black Moscow breeders in here and also some Super Red Plecos. But uh, I was going to, they were up in this tank and I was going to move them down to the lower tank. And then something happened and I didn't do it. I came back the next day and they were fry. And they were, when I was gonna do it, they were tiny. This is probably two weeks ago. And so I had to let these fry get bigger to make sure I could catch them all. So hopefully this weekend I'll empty this tank out as well. If you guys remember, I'm gonna take down all these tens up here and put 20 longs. Uh, I got 20 longs from my buddy Chris at the first swap meet. So uh, yeah, that's what's going on there. 
these were the blue diamonds. Uh, there were a couple left that weren't breeding true, so I decided to put them with the mutt guppies. And this morning there was one left. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. I just got to take that one out, clean the tank out, and then, uh, you know, empty it. Here we have what's left of the bluegrass cook colony. Again, there are some fry in here I couldn't catch. So uh, once they get bigger, I'll, it'll be easier for me to catch them. You can see a nice uh, aquarium co-op filter with the cobalt airline. Love the colorful cobalt airline. Here's a new guppy strain in Michael's fish room. These are, were called purple dragons. I'm not so sure they're dragons, but they are delicious looking. Love the tail pattern, love the colors. They've really curled up nice since yesterday. Uh, we lost, I think about 10 pair in shipping. Uh, so these will be in quarantine for quite some time. Probably not available until the spring. And hopefully by then I'll have babies for them, but uh, seem to be doing well, have colored up really nice, and uh, we haven't lost any since we put them in, in the tank, so that's good. The whole reason for my order, because I was, oh, look at the baby Pleco, he's adorable. Uh, I wasn't actually going to make any more orders because, you know, it's getting cold. Uh, but my guy asked me about, uh, he asked me what I was looking for. I mentioned Red Cobras. I sent him a picture. He sent me a picture of these guys. I'm like, yeah, that's them. How many do you want? I said 50 pair. He said, sweet. So I made an order, and then when you order wholesale, you get charged by the box. It doesn't really matter what's in the box. The box is a certain fee. So in order to maximize uh, cost, you fill the box up. So I started adding. I added these purple dragons. I added those black Moscows, which he got special for me, or he, he mentioned he had and I was looking for. And then the extra red dragons. And then it turns out uh, these weren't all that great. And he lost quite a few and decided they were too small to send me. So he sent me a few just to, to try and see how they do. So long story short, I got this, this new, this big wholesale order for these. And I didn't even get the ones I wanted, really. So uh, that's, that's just business, I guess. Black Moscow tank, as we saw. And of course, super red plecos. Uh, breeding set, not really breeding setup, but breeding setup, hopefully. Got the Japanese blues. Tank's a little dirty. I don't really care. Uh, let me let me get my creeper seat and we'll do the lower section all right down here these I was told these were black Moscows they're given to me by a local breeder who uh, moved away unfortunately I don't think they were breeding true um, so these will probably end up going in the mutt guppy tank which is fine you always need new genetics in the mutt guppy tank um, there were, they were breeding somewhat as black Moscows, uh, but mostly as half blacks. And I can see some tail patterns in there that, that aren't indicative of black Moscow. So these are the full golds. These are a great looking guppy. If you like yellow, not a big fan of yellow. Don't really know why I got them. I think cause I thought they would sell well. So yeah, it is what it is. If you're interested in yellow guppies, these are pretty sweet though. Over here we have... Uh, violet cobras and uh, a uh, filter that's off an aquarium a uh, uh, aqua clear filter that's off um, these guys I got at a local fish store and I'm just hoping they're just letting them breed out and see what we get uh, mostly females in here I see I did see one male so that's good but you know we'll let them go We'll probably take a look at these guys uh, after Thanksgiving, maybe Thanksgiving weekend, see what we got, see uh, what we need to do to get them better. Over here we have the uh, Dragon Guppies from my buddy Otter Creek Aquatics. Check out Otter Creek Aquatics on YouTube. He has a website too, I'll put a link down below. He sells some guppies and some plants and some other stuff. Uh, these are mostly females as well. There are two males I saw yesterday as I was checking this out. I probably will be adding a heater to this tank. Water feels a little cold, about 72 degrees. This is about 73, so, you know, my fingers are calibrated. Um, this is not scientific. It's just kind of what I think and, and how I've, I've seen breeding guppies. I believe the colder the water, the more females you get. No scientific proof behind that. I know that's true with some cichlids. I'm not saying that I can prove it with science or that I've written a paper or that I have any actual data other than 
just real life. There's a male right there looking nice. Um, so if you're getting mostly females, warm the temperature in the tank up a little bit. See how it goes. Half black yellows, I lost all the adults. Um, well, we sold a lot of the yellows and I had a couple pair left. And I, I ended up actually only having one female left and I sold that pair. So we're letting the, uh, letting the fry grow up. Wasn't a big fan of these guys. So if, if they grow and are uh, healthy and breed true, that's great. If not, I'm, I'm not overly concerned. If they're healthy, we'll put them with the mutts. If not, we'll feed them to the, the, uh, the flower horn. See, there's a nice snail right there. All right, uh, platinum red Dumbos. Breeding, doing nice, had these in the outdoor pond, got them, got most of them from a local breeder. The ones in the pond were from a wholesaler. Uh, not as nice as the local breeder, but we ended up putting them all together. And uh, these are some of my favorite guppies. They look great. If you're interested in a nice Dumbo ear, healthy guppy, these are them. Blue metallic mosaics growing out, uh, just fry and babies right now. Over here we got the pink flamingos, just to grow out with the big apple snail, I think. Help me out, is that an apple snail? I think it is. I don't know where it came from, I gotta be honest, I, I really have no idea. Here we have long fin albinos and we have the platinum white guppies. Uh, sold a pair of platinum white to the birthday boy, unfortunately the female passed a couple days after he got them. Trying to find a, a nice female for him. These females aren't as nice, which is why I haven't really sold any pairs. Uh, but we'll work it out. Um, over here we have red snakeskins and albino plecos. And look at them destroying the, the snail food. The snails are destroying it, but so are the plecos and the guppies. Now, you guys might be saying to yourself, Mike, why, why do you have so many snails? Well, I don't know if you're aware of this, but I have a flower horn. Flower horns eat snails. That's why I have so many snails. Anyway, looks like the snail food is a big hit with everybody, so that's that's pretty good. I'm gonna probably when I'm done, probably pull some of the, the food away from the snail, see if the, the plecos eat it as well. There are plecos devouring it, but and actually guppies are going after it just as much as everybody else. That's pretty cool. Alright, moving on. Cool sticker. Pleco sticker from Aquarium Co-op. Long fin calicos. Uh, we had some breeding action going on in here. There's a, a young one, but uh, I don't know where the parents are. They're probably in caves or hiding. I don't know if we're going to have babies or not, but also the Dumbo Red Mosaic Fireworks. Uh, about ready to give up on these guys. Probably will add these to the mutt guppy population and use the tank for something else. Here we have regular short fin calicos. There's a big, big guy, big girl actually, and some more in the back. And... Uh, these were the purple dragons, uh, and then I, I don't know what happened. I lost most of them, so uh, I don't really know what's going on here. No action with this snail food, but I mean, there aren't that many plecos in here, so maybe they don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Here is my new flower horn name to be decided. I don't know what he did with Kathy. What did you do with Kathy? Don't bite me. Kathy's in the back on her back. What are you trying to do to Kathy? Kathy's on her back. What are you doing to her? She was up here this morning, so I don't know what he did. But So the question is, what do I do as far as a tank for him? Right now, he's in a 20 high, which he'll probably be okay with for a couple months. But eventually, i got to do something bigger. Some people said I should put a, a 75 on my workbench. I don't really have space, and I don't really want to do that. The plan is to expand to build a wall here and expand out about three feet. And then I would put um, a, show, uh, a rack here with... I don't know what size tanks, but at least 175 at eye level where I would put my flower horn. All right, moving up to the top, we got the blue tux. Back in April, I thought these guys were going to be ready for sale soon, and they're, they're just not. Um, they're not really doing great, to be honest, on this last tank, so I don't know what we're going to do. We'll just move on. Uh, pandas, I got these in a wholesale order, and uh, I got refunded 100% because they sucked. They were sick, they died. Um, some of the females weren't really the females that they needed to be, so I weeded all those out. And, uh, you know, the ones here that are left are healthy. The females belong with the males, so 
but it is what it is. We'll be trying to get some more black pandas because they are a great guppy and uh, a good seller in Michael's Fish Room. Here we have another case of I'm Too Slow. This was the pink flamingo tank. I had one or two females left in here and you know what happened, they dropped fry as I was, you know, I went to move them and then I got distracted. I came down a day or two later, boom, fry. So I gotta get these out of here. Purple grass guppies, these guys are exploding. I can't wait to get them in a bigger tank. They'll be for sale definitely in the spring, maybe even before that. Galaxy red and gold lace guppies, uh, building up the colony, building up the colony. Uh, we sold them quite fast from the first time I got them, so we gotta move on. Here are some purple dragon guppies, different purple dragon guppies from a different source. Um, actually, these are, they're not called purple dragon. I forgot what they're called. Purple mosaic dumbos, that's what they're called. See, I don't have a, I don't have a, 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 a cheat, a uh, label, just my KG aquatic sticker. Uh, but these don't seem to be breeding true, so I gotta see what I wanna do with them. Half blacks, uh, these are going to, the Soul Colony is going to a breeder. Uh, we traded some fish and some of the fish he wanted were those blue Moscows. I didn't want to ship until they were 100% healthy. So purple Moscows, there's finally fry in here. Um, of course, I don't see any fry right now. Hopefully they're still in here. Uh, but there was a male and a female uh, amongst other male and females. And oh, there's some fry. Yeah, I see a fry. So. Those guys are uh, growing out. Hopefully we'll have them for sale in the spring. Jarawee Lazulis. These are a disappointment. We got them from Jarawee Farm. I thought they all were gonna be these blue ones, but apparently there's a red version as well, and that's what I was sent. And so they kind of, when they breed, they kind of drop both kinds. So we'll see how they look in the spring, and then I'll decide how I will sell them, so. All right, last row, I guess. I guess I, I skipped this middle row somehow. Got the yellow macrof guppies, and there's some uh, regular bristlenose plecos in here. Over here, we have some more plecos. There's a big uh, albino. There's some more, uh, there's a long fin right there, and some more uh, just regular mix of, of guppies. I gotta get all my regular guppies. Um, you know, that aren't aren't albinos or aren't long fins. The, 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 the mix, I gotta put in one tank, maybe two tanks. Fire and Ice Platinum Guppies dropped a ton of fry. They're all growing up nice. Also, there's another batch of albino bristlenose. These are the ones I got from the uh, show I bought at wholesale. Doing well. I always say I'm gonna not put the lift tube in because the, the, the plecos, they like to go in there. I always forget. All right, last tank, blue neon guppies growing out. There is an albino, no, there is a long fin bristlenose and a lemon blue eye in this tank as well. I don't know where the lemon blue eye is. He could be stuck in the Millennium Falcon. I found him in there before. Hopefully he's not in there because he could be dead if he's in there, so. Anywho. These guys are growing out. Hopefully they'll be ready in the spring. All right, guys. Oh, look at the, look at the belly. Look at the belly. That does it for the fish room tour. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. A lot of you guys are asking about foods. I mean, I feed a variety of foods. Let's just, just as an example, North Fin Krill, North Fin Krill Flake, Cobalt Shrimp and Veggie, Cobalt Ultra Spirulina. I have the Japanese food. I have, uh, the Bug Pro from North Finn. Love the North Finn kelp wafers. We got this bag, we got the second bag back there. Um, obviously there's live baby brine shrimp I'm making. The Excalibur for my flower horn. I mean, food is one of those things where, first of all, you need a variety. And second of all, it should be high quality. Not a fan of Tetra, not a fan of Wardley's, not a fan of uh, API or marine land food. I just, I, I, to tell you the truth, I'm not a fan of most uh, breeders that sell their own food. Uh, there are some that do it right, but for the most part, most of those people, they buy food in bulk and just label it and bag it themselves. And it's really nothing special. That's just my opinion. Uh, that's just what I feel. I feel like there's so many other 
good foods you can buy, like Extreme, Extreme. You know, this is Kobo. This is the turbo food from Europe. You know, uh, I happen to know Ryan from PRA Aquatics quite well. I know the, the detail he put into this food, so I do trust that food. That's label, that's food that he's made himself or had made. Um, I just don't think there's a reason to buy food like that. All right, fishy folks, that's enough about that topic. Guys, shipping, uh, normal shipping is coming to an end for Michael's Fish Room starting next week. Um, oh, I didn't show you this real quick before we talk about shipping. L32 Plecos, um, an ancestrous species, but but they, they stay about the same size, but they're a little bit different. So, you know, take a look, L32s. Hopefully, they'll be on the website in the spring after they breed. Back to shipping. Uh, I typically stop shipping between Chris. I mean, between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I may consider um, Priority Mail Express shipping only uh, between now and, and Christmas. And then as it gets cold, it'll definitely only be Priority Mail shipping, depending on the weather. So if you're interested, you can buy stuff on the website and uh, we'll go from there. So guys, check out the website, michaelsfishing.com. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked it. Take it easy. Uh, we got the brine shrimp growing, growing from my buddy Otter Queek. Otter Queek. All right, fishy folks, let's get the torn away. Oh, snap! I replaced. No, yeah, that's dumb.